pick up for who he last time we saw these two teams face off at that first rift herald who he had a fantastic curse the sad mummy that set up them for the bullet time from fbi that ended up actually winning out that engagement for them so i like that they're trying to play back in towards this and just providing a ton Offside. of side so i really want to see 100 thieves getting involved in the spot late oh. early oh. good initial stun big damage oh. on the qualic nine already ticking flashes before they're just gonna cut him down first blood and two, they have no summoners to contest this Herald, and they're so vulnerable to a Sejuani ult and a Zero Shuffle. There's so many tools that 100 Thieves have to shut that bot lane down. So for CFO right now, it's about weathering the storm. We're looking for a little bit of vision now. Gemini coming down towards the spot side, the 3v3. We now going in, that's the level 6. The cleanse is up, but it might not be enough. The Kale getting cut down. That's going to be one easy kill. Now here comes the Bell Bet. Will they try to make it? Ooh. No, he's still standing. Closer on the way in. Oh, and there it is. One slappy Stingray to finish. Wanted to see confidence in their bot lane to pick this matchup to outperform. As we see someday contesting the creep hiding in the bush. Oh, waiting. Going in, instant stun, instant ball. There's no way! He's just a tiny little Yordle. There's too much damage. Ignite ticking. He's done. 100 Thieves from the game here on the cave, but 100 Thieves have a lot of objectives to respond with. Top tier one, Herald, mid tier one, and the push in mid means that Mission might be vulnerable if Abadaga decides to go for the shuffle, decides against him. Also just a great call from FBI, clearing out that entire bot side jungle before he makes his way into mid lane, so there isn't even anything for Gemini to try it. And I think 100 Thieves, Abadaga saying, let's try to get top tier two, trying to pressure as hard as he can on this top side. Pushing him back, rinse and repeat, rest. Not getting a chance to take a break whatsoever. Great play there by 100 Thieves. They realize that CFO are going four-man bot, so Abedaga says, let's make a play top. They're not allowed to take our bot tier two for free. FBI then goes mid and pressures Mission away. 100 Thieves playing on these two lanes beautifully. And he still haven't even taken the Rift Child yet. So now you just have even more stuff going over in favor of 100 Thieves. 100 Denied the KO box. Can he find the angle again? Yes, he can. Locked down. No Meganar for the fight. Oh. It's massive for the Thieves. Who he now locked up the damage being fired back. That's the Victor Ultimate down. But FBI on the support here for who he he is hopping off this game. And this is what I love seeing. Like taking the Amumu, having that control, having those big engages that are putting 100 Thieves ahead. I mean, it's just beautiful play from who he's so far this game. Definitely my MVP in terms of setting 100 Thieves up. Now the Herald Never will fit. come out. Rest will go bot, but he doesn't have TP. Abadaga does. Just to find some way to disrupt this, because if you just let this keep happening, well, 100 Thieves, they're going to play at the map. They're further ahead, and they're going on Here Gemini. we go! Rinse and repeat! Stealth Amumu now running in. He's looking for some friends. CFO, you interested? He's getting thrown right into the backside. Now he has to wander his way out, though. This is a bit of a difficult situation. He's going to be forced all He is going to get taken down. Fight initially starting positive for CFO. Let's go on the side 100 Thieves. They can take this objective quite easily. Rest. Meganar coming up. They have to go soon. They have to go in. CFO on a timer. Now who he now locking them down. They're instantly chasing Z and Rath. trying to look at them. the flag. Throwing the bottom lane back into the waiting arms of the Thieves. Dragon still standing. 2K, but they take fight they take the soul they send oysters running absolute domination from 100 thieves it is flawless five for zero dragon soul they're gonna end through pot as well they don't even go for the baron tp's coming in and 100 thieves pincer them they route them and they shut them down an amazing performance from 100 Thieves on a day where they needed to step up. They have answered the call in game one, and now they must continue to strive forward with this same presence. NA's final hope will not go quietly. CFO, a last ditch effort. No way, B. It's 100 Thieves a little bit split right now. Definitely a bit of a split call. Regen coming up from the ocean is nice to have, and they're going right over the wall. They're trying to kick things off again. Lockdown, so much damage going through on a Sunday, but not enough to finish it. Meanwhile, Rest now running. FBI standing on the front line, should doing so much damage. Oh. But here comes Abadage! And there it is, another scoop to find the fight. Baron resets, but 100 Thieves taking it again. 100 Thieves find the picks that they need, and they should just be able to turn back over. But look at the base. Minions are conga lining their way in here, and CFO, you gotta go back and deal with that. That'll end the game. Yeah, they're gonna get the Baron here, 100 Thieves uncontested. I thought someday was thinking about TPing into the base, but he's gonna TP back in here. Gemini looking Gemini. for a miracle play. The Sweeper should spot him. Looking for the stun, he's gonna find it. Who he. Play after play after play. This duo, one fumble in the mid lane, but they take the jungler out. They make sure there's no 50-50. They make sure there's no stealing from thieves.
What a what a dominating game for, from 100 Thieves this time around. From bot lane, team play, the macro is good, the cross maps are on point. This is a fantastic first game. It is so hard against this Baron, against this Belveth, with an inhibitor down, with yeah. an Ocean Soul on the opposite side. It feels impossible. Engage now coming in, Chun already forced back. Jarvan off to the flank, maybe they can oh. burn him down. Massive up and out of the fight. They're trying to turn, they're trying to burn, they're trying to make everything happen. Rest, desperate, fishing for that Gnar ultimate, knowing maybe he can be the difference maker. But for now, 100 Thieves walk away. They're wounded, but they're not out of the exchange yet. They want to burn down this tower. Closer now stepping forward. Closer. Looking for the Endless Banquet. Dashing in and out of the fight. Okay. Get back. Green block. You gotta be careful. They should be able to get an auto attack onto it and back it up, but... Okay, nicely done by 100 Thieves. And now with Dragon in 10 seconds. Way CFO. If they back away, they lose. They mess up going in, they lose. If they wait too long, the minions collapse to their base, they will lose. Everything is stacked against them in this exchange. The dragon being shredded. Now the jungler going forward. Gemini cut down! No. The smite is gone! The 50-50 is gone! In this game, CFO are dead men walking because 100 Thieves take no prisoners. Rest the last name on the list is CFO will fall to pieces as 100 Thieves will march into their base and find their first win. The last hope of NA strikes first in their final day. Hui gets into the back line again with a fantastic ultimate, sets up the 100 Thieves, and the Nexus will fall as NA will cheer. Step one. T here, Varus ult, Leona, you've got Malkai, but he's actually going to oh, go for okay. the drag as to whether the storm against Renek and be more of a team fight. So, an actually really good disruption now that I think about it against these immobile carries. Yeah, highly immobile carries. Probably that with the Orn, obviously. Gemini is going to do the same. It looks like we might just have a full clear on both sides. Gemini could look top here, but rest. Level two doesn't have access to that third spell. Does he have W, is the question. Gemini is going to bring the flash already on the bottom side. Aggressive trading, just taking a lot of HP away, now getting it, he's gonna get knocked back, Doran, the Twisted Advance following him, where's he gonna go? <laughs> Survive, Rest invests the Flash, they don't get the kill, here comes the cross map from Genji, Lehen's pulling the wave, wow, look at the damage! The Ignite is big, the Ignite is massive, it stops any potential fall of the healing! The kill going over to Rule as well, Koala, will they go for the redive, trying to get back out of the tower to deny the Graves damage, you can't see, he's trying to lock him up, but Lehen's taking the tower, it's beautiful so far, locking up Peanut, but he makes it out! Koala now in no man's land, there's no tower to protect him! He would have got very close. I think he's hovering in this bot side river now, taking this bot crab. Gemini ignoring the crab, going to the 3-2 forward, locking him down already slow. They're trying to get this done, but Peanut's now coming in. They need to get kills immediately. Halo Blade doing some work here. Now they need to body block. They need to keep Peanut away from Shun. Do they have what it takes? They're knocking him back. They're keeping him away, but Lahens is a bloodthirsty Nami. He's trying to finish the job himself. Peanut's still standing for now. The knock of Koala. Great cast. Keeping Doran safe on the top side. Fade away. The fade away indeed. Peanut's gonna pick up the dragon after that play. Oh, loves this one again. Yes, we are. So let's just keep track of which targets CFO go for you. So Koala flash stuns Ruler, then lands the E onto the hens, but then Gemini goes onto Ruler as well. I think they are actually trying to focus him down. That was just a coincidental E from Koala. Now they're trying to block the auto attacks from spawning in 20 seconds. The easy play is just to let it crash, push in the wave, and go towards the dragon. Harder play is to look for a tier two. How hard do they want to force it? Peanut waiting for Gemini, who knows he's there. Throwing down the calling, big damage. The Maokai all coming in. It will lock up Pina, but again, there's no follow up. And meanwhile, on the mid lane mission, getting run down. Doran landing the cast, the E connection from Joey. Oh, getting the Cleaver mission. Gonna make it at least a one for one. Makes it out. But this is what I mean, right? The way the Genji are playing this is, hey, look, if we can get one person, get them low, force them out of the fight, even with the way Pino came in to contest Red Bull. No reason, but from our perspective, it just looked very silly. Wave going in. Gonna find one. Bubble gonna follow. Ooh, now we're not taking Marisol. extra though. That is maybe gonna be enough. Done. It's, oh. it's big damage, but no one can follow up. Ruler already fine back with the calling. Massive damage coming in. Oh, and Gen G, they smell blood in the water. They're ready to get done. Oh. Gemini just taken out. Ruler and Gemini. Well, they're not great at sieging. Well, maybe they're a little bit short range, but I feel like already we're grasping at straws. Start controlling the map. Top tier one's down, mid tier one's down. Now they can play some kind of mid to bot shenanigans and match Gen G when the dragon's up. Like, is he playing a different game? Is there oh, like, oh, hold that thought. Big damage coming in from the coin. The Gale Force now to follow. Just barely able to survive, but they want to turn. Cleanse now coming out. Gemini throwing down the ultimate. Lahens will get locked up. Where's the fall? Mission ready to go in, and that's the opportunity. Ruler can't quite finish the job, but CFO can. They could look to put it on a bot tier too. Koala might be caught out here. No flash. Peanut will probably know oh, that he's going down. He's turning back. He's trying to run away. There's slow field on the ground, obviously, from the Glacial, but it's just not enough. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's going to get taken down. 20 seconds on the desperation play. Rest. Wants to be in the area. TP responds to the opposite side. Dragon getting lower and lower. Gemini can maybe go for the steal. Ulti over the wall. What is the play here? Just trying to steal, just trying to get it. But Peanut 
He's not losing a single objective today, whether it be a red buff or a dragon. And the rest of the CFO are waiting over the wall. Gemini just goes down. It's a disaster. And now the rest of the team will get a collapse. Trying to finish the job. Toby playing back. Toby going forward. Now leaping over the wall. Ruler looking for the 1v1. Backed up by the Nami. CFO just have to run. There's nothing left for them in this game. The Flying Oysters, they've been grounded. They've been shucked. There is nothing left for them on the rift. Gen G just gonna wipe them here. Mission will live, but only two from against rest in this side lane. That's never the position you want to see your next unit against the top. Right. On the backside, oh. knocking two back to the team. Now the tidal wave coming out. Ruler sees mission. He's got his target locked in his sights. He's gonna finish that one. Pina now running forward as well. Gen G splitting apart CFO effortlessly, finding these kills. Will they turn to the Baron or the Tier 3? That's the only question left remaining as Chobi finishes that one. Oh, Chobi. Oh, wait a sec. We're going He's not here. done yet. He's feeling himself. He wants a little bit more. Buys time with the stopwatch. A brief moment. How many cooldowns does he have left? Nice. The flash out to safety should just go down here. And will get dropped in the exchange, but it will not stop the rest of Gen.G from turning to the Baron. Chobi regrets the follow-up, but at least Gen.G will be happy with what happens now. Baron will go over in their favor. They should be able to close this one out nice and easily. Chobi's been totally fine to continue pushing the side lanes. You've got good opportunity now with the way Ruler has been able to have a bit of fun he, on the world stage. He was fishing for the montage. He won't quite find it. Ruler, however, might. Backing away here, trying to outmaneuver on the Malvai oh, ultimate. Oh, oh, the TP. Okay. Stakes. The Graves is hitting like a truck. There's a TP coming in the middle. 100 CS up in jungle. Three levels up. He's so strong. I think he's 5k gold up as well last time I saw. Now the Siege coming in. They have three range champs to hit towers, but Syndra looking for stuns. Oh my god. Syndra paying half for life to miss with the stun. Doran, Mikhail's Crucible coming in clutch will hands. A nice second buy just to make sure that CFO's options to re-engage or engage at all have been limited even further. Doran? Doran? It's a little bit awkward, Doran. but he's fine. He's a beefy Gragas. So he's just going to walk straight over to the tower. Four versus two. They have to base their uh, mission and Koala to regen their health. Bars Chobi's hitting that bolt here too, I believe, so that one should fall as well. No Baron buff, though. And I guess Gen G is just going to rotate into it to help him out with the Baron buff, or are they? Is Doran going to look... His ultimate's almost back off cooldown. Right now, it just feels like surgical precision from Gen G splitting the team up, only pushing forward when they know they've got an advantage, when they know they've got a wave, not looking to risk anything here. Flash up for Shun, flash up for Mission. Maybe some room to maneuver towards a fight as long as they can keep CFO away from this. They're actually going to fight them beforehand. Bursting him down in the knockup, the chain CC, wait in the darkness, find the pick. And now the fight continues. It's already the jungler, so incredibly low. Toby looking for the re engage. Oh, Mission getting cut down. Toby, he's got another one locked in his sights, but Ruler fishing for the kill himself. Shun, I'm so sorry, brother. There is nothing left for you there. Ruler now unstoppable. Rest running for the hills, but. Genji just taking their time as they try to ace CFO. One final member standing. They will find it. They will take the game for CFO. Not the finish to the group that they were hoping for in their final game. They are obliterated by Gen G. And from start to finish, we are reminded why this team won the LCK. Ruler, Peanut, every single member popping off as they take down the Nexus. Little to none mistakes from Gen G. Clean, calm, and collected. 14,000 gold lead. Had a little bit of fun with it. I prefer something that can actually match yep. toe to toe in the early oh, stages. Here we go. Because what you need to do here is shut down RNG in the early stages, stop them from being able to play side lanes and play towards your strength, which is team fight. So really good adaptation here with the Jarvan to play both in towards that early Slow. game. I'm trying to play more for those team fights. You can see right now, 700 gold lead way. Just now taking over to level six, wants to kick the fight off, wants to lock down close, wants to get the chain CC, but they've locked him in the gravity field. He's got invincible, but now Zhao, who tried to clean up on the backside, FBI so squishy, but the ultimate stop, BM Gallo leaping forward, FBI running, FBI running for his life, can he gank it out? No, Zhao, who wants the chase? There's gotta be no way, still standing for now. The lockdown, not nearly enough, and Gala making a montage with the rest of them. Isolated, but Abadagi might be the one isolated. Who? Abadagi needs to make his way out. This one instantly flashing under the tower, laying down the gravity heal. Chao, who looking for the follow up, looking to land the shuriken flip. Abadagi needs to make his way out. Alt in, trying to get around through the minions, but it's not enough. Chao, taking him down. They're giving up the mid push here. Abadaga actually zoned away from his own tower. Maybe who he has to invest the TP push here. On bot, they push him mid, forcing 100 Thieves to spread out on the map, which means you can't get the 5v5 rolling for 100 Thieves. I actually like what well, the damage, not quite though. It's a bit awkward for 100 Thieves. You don't really want to have your Victor on a side lane in bot, so Shahu's going to start hitting this tower. Someday though, is going to be no E. Means Shahu will back away. Might get it on the next couple of waves. Might even really right now. Abadaga needs to be careful. Gravity though. field now locking him down, throwing the ult, just staying in his own gravity field. Shahu happy to grab the tower for now, but Abadaga still trading very positively. The E misses! The E misses, and that's everything. They're already pulling away, though. TP burns just to keep him healthy. Meanwhile, Renekton now going forward. 
Uhi and FBI holding strong in the mid lane, but Uhi's TP will not resolve, but Abadage still makes it out on the bottom side. TP cancelled there by the Yumi ult. I think Uhi's actually probably pretty happy about that because that means he can keep defending mid wave someday. One, ulti's traded. So they're doing a good job of continuing to stop these backs from Breathe. That's why he's got such a big health bar. He's managed to come in. Dalan Ming, though, on route. Trying to run in. Breathe, trying to bait it out. The stun now coming through. Somebody needs to finish the kill. Someday, can he do it? Breathe still standing. Someday! He can the Thieves, they need to find ways to force these fights around the dragons. And in that last exchange, it was just Divine Sunderer for Breathe. But now he's gone back. He's got already control over the mid lane. Someday the only one left to clear that wave to try to hold on against this onslaught. Tower Perk will fall. RNG, do they want to push for more here? No. And this is a really good call from RNG. I mean, second dragon for 100 Thieves doesn't mean a huge amount, but again, these towers are so important to the way this composition ex executes. So Deceiver with Jarvan, get her flash and then do it again on the next mid wave. Otherwise, Gala has so much confidence to step forward. It's breathe. Looks like he might be in trouble here. Closer on the way down. Waiting, trying to bait out. Now wants to commit fully, has the ultimate, does a ton of damage here, but should just get caught out someday. Relatively low, Breathe now trying to heal back up, it will not be enough. The parry coming through, but he will get cut down, that's a pick, but already orange. Room and time to work with that pick, but needs to be very careful when they commit onto it. Who? What can he do here? Senna Shield now coming in, but there's still so much damage coming in. He's surviving for now, stopwatch keeping him alive. Someday waiting over the wall, this is it, this is the 5v5. Abadage running into the back line, but he does so much damage. Shahu desperate to find the hill, Closer so close to getting taken out, he needs to get out to safety. But again, his stopwatch, got him in healthy, Gala down, 100 Thieves, holding on to hope they've got so much sustain, the death ball is online and they are descending upon RNG. Xiaohu running, Breed running, Perry will not be enough, trying desperately to survive. Blast going out to safety, still standing, still running, but he's got no health, he's got no TP, he's got no time. What can 100 Thieves get with this? Abadaga can TP in, and a Faithfuls make some noise, they're getting into mid tier one. Have a jungler on the map, but that was so many summoners used by RNG. Absolutely everything, including teleports. And 100 Thieves won it. The stopwatch was in round one, baby. It goes to USA. And you can see how slow 100 Thieves are playing this. They actually commit the jungler to Way coming around the corner. They have no vision in their this own is jungle. It. Their vision line's too pushed far, pushed forward. Can Way get the steal. Way, can you it's take it away? away? No! Not today! 100 Thieves standing strong as a death ball. Forced to flash away to safety. The back line of 100 Thieves still standing strong. Closer. The GA coming in. Way descending, getting lower and lower and lower. Xiao Hu burning all of it. Oh, but, out. but 100 Thieves still standing. 100 Thieves so much healing. Xiao Hu trying to make the play, but no. RNG, weather the storm. RNG, no. Someday goes golden, but that's got to be it. They've got to burn through the Renekton. They take him down. The Baron kill at the end of the fight. Maybe RNG could have done a lot more on the waves in 100 Thieves' base. Way oh, doesn't awesome. the facilitator for this team, the Lissandra. He'll play for his lanes, but this game, it is his time. It is his show someday. Has to be careful on the top side. No, Breathe, rather, as he has been caught out. Now has to run for the hills. The stun coming through. The rest of the team ready to follow up. Breathe, so incredibly mobile. 100 Thieves burning everything they can to take down this Fiora. Breathe will fall. 100 Thieves will find the pick, but already you can see RNG just running it down top and looking for this tier two. But RNG barreling down mid. They will lose the inhibitor here. 100 Thieves fall that pick. You can see that they're really, really cautious of these side lanes, trying to deny the Fiora with these five-man ganks constantly closer. And a wolf might need to be careful here. Oh, so they're going in and out. All that matters is Gala, and Gala stands strong, trying to be zoned away. The Victor Ultimate is not enough. Who he is here, but Gala still stands. Gala finally down. Now the thieves. What is it? They can take the fight. They took out Gala away, running. Xiaohu. Oh, he's made so many play happens, but it's too late. When Gala falls, the fight falls. And 100 thieves against the wall, facing elimination in the face. And Right now, they're putting up a hell of a fight. Tier 2 mid's gonna fall. RNG on their toes. Need to be ready if 100 Thieves rush towards it. Someday has the TP ready. Will be matching Breathe on this bot side. The four up to the side. Shahu desperate to work his way into the back line. Barely taken down 6k. It's getting lower. Are they gonna fight or are they gonna force it? It looks like they want the 50-50. It's getting lower and lower. Way right into the back line. But now the Seraphine coming out. It's gonna connect on the Shahu, and that's clutch. But already Gala shredding through the front line. 100 Thieves for now. The back line, 100 Thieves standing strong. Healing massive coming in from Wave. He's locked down for now, but Gala is still alive. Abba is still alive. Abadage cut down. And that should be the fight for 100 Thieves. FBI, it's a heroic effort. But it cannot be enough. Closer buying the space. Closer trying to buy time. But this is Gala's world. And we're all just living in it. That for RNG is the turnaround they needed. Abadage versus Gala, and Gala will stand tall as RNG 
achieved. Move towards the base. I guarantee the LPL another seed in playoffs. Final moments. The final fight for 100 Thieves. They went toe to toe with one of the best in the world. But ultimately, they fell just short. RNG take the fight. Locked into quarters next to Gen G. 100 Thieves. Oh. Danger of, you know, flexing so far into the draft. That's why I'm like, on four, maybe just snatch it up, take yeah. it away from them. Uh, because the value of. Uh, of, of the mystery of your flex pick. <laughs> yeah, out there really? for someday though on the Sejuani makes me think, hey, closer probably want to make a, an early play. Viego is one of the best junglers to gank for Sejuani. Bubble, who's just going to move forward? You can see Ruler trying to find this one out. FBI, he's just getting a dash on first blood. Goes over to Ruler. There's the polymorph of the flash. Definitely great news for Chovy. We'll be able to push that wave in yet again. But Abadaga has been playing really, really well today. And we'll now just be able to back. Dragon, Rift Herald, entire bottom turret plate. They got first blood for themselves as well. Can't oh, ask. May just take this. Um, turret plate still available. Closer is going to have Peanut delivered to him. Jungle duel, let's go! Yeah, oh. A bit dangerous. He can all He flashes to get himself out of the way. The heal comes through as well. Tidal wave is avoided there by Closer, but he's still coming down. We'll find the tree. Probably not very killable. As Will is going to flash forward. FBI takes most of his health, and there's the rest. The Gale Force. You just gave it to yourself. There are objective bounties available. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're available. What 100 Thieves have done here, Kobe, is that they've and made therefore maximum bounty gold yeah. able to be taken. They're just waiting for their item spikes, Kobe. That's, yeah. what, that's what we're doing. How are Genji going to know where they're going to I think so. <laughs> Genji feel like they can look wherever they want. Closer, oh, though. Yeah, Closer's going to be the one to find Peanut here. Tidal Wave comes down, though. Lehens always seems to be with his jungler. And now Rule is dashing forward one more time. Who he somehow dies. I didn't have my eye on him. But he just sort of disappeared. And now Doran going to be flashing over the top. He has the... Oh, he oh, no! in the FBI and smashes Sunday oh. back into Peanut's waiting arms. The tree will die. Genji probably not focused on that right now. <laughs> that fan right there. We, there we go. <laughs> Boom. We're on the board, baby. Got one. <laughs> uh, Doran down. Never give up. Never surrender. surrender. Here we go. Uh-oh. Peanut's on the way as well. It's unfair. 4v2. Uh, 4v2. Yeah, Polymorph is going to come through there as Peanut's lost a lot of his health, but does manage to dash out of the way of the ulti. Might need to flash here, but no. Quick draw is going to be available. Trying to clear out the wave. Not going to be able to do so, so this inner turret will go over to Genji. That is an extraordinary, extraordinary gold lead for 21 minutes in this game. I'd even hazard to say that this is a shellac in Kobe. As yeah. FBI puts down the turret. It's not going to replace the one he just lost, though, as now Twisted Advance comes through. Chovy will connect the chains. It's pretty easy to do so when someday is permanently CC'd. Genji will take the last remaining in him. Hard to Gen pull off that timing with, without vision. They get a little bit of sight there. You just got to go for it. Roll the dice. It's at oh, 3k. The wild growth comes through, but it's not going to be enough. Ruler just chases him down. But most importantly, Closer is still 2K? alive. The smite is still available. And now Go to triple play, the heartbreak, it comes through, he just dies before he can even get enough damage onto the Baron. It was a worthy attempt, but it didn't quite work as FBI may have found a rule, tries to turn around, a thousand gold! And the Evan Blue will pick up the kill in the end, but you're 100% putting worth in all chat right now. As Abadaga, he's uh, behind enemy lines, and Peanut is chasing him down, letting him know that it's his territory. And Abadaga does not care about it whatsoever. Doran's gonna have to come over still in his pajamas but of course he's in his house and now the teleport's Ooh. gonna come forward peanut wants to stop oh. in the bubble they could have just we'll let be able to finish that one up no problem inhibitor gonna go down soon 100 thieves oh my goodness okay well collateral damage flies through but the wild growth is going to answer there's still a minion left alive and that means the turret is going to die ruler looking for someday tankiest member of the team but ruler still cutting through him four items on this solution Absolute, absolutely absurd damage is now Genji bearing down on the Nexus turrets. Can they find their avenue in to finish the game right now? Pre-25 minutes as Ruler just throws the culling in. The first Nexus turret goes down. Genji looking for the second now. Death Rays not doing enough work there. Look at the damage. The Polymorph comes through, but then Ruler immediately out of that one. Everyone on the fountain. The Nexus is ignored for now because Genji won more kills. Revenge for Ruler, who he goes down as well. It's a double, and then the Nexus explodes. Genji.
angle. And this is RNG, a very aggressive draft. Oof. Yeah, you talk about bottom lane fireworks. Uh, that's that's going to be all fine and dandy, but Ari plus Vi is guaranteed. Well, he wants to contest on this Gromp. No smite for either jungler. They're going to fight over it. Koala, there's a ward on him. Yep, they do know, as there it is, the Vault Breaker comes on forward, Ming's here. Oh, he going down very low, the Ignite is still ticking though, and now Ming getting bloodthirsty for this kill, still overextending a little, Atlan's <laughs> going to turn up, he can sense it. Wants to be out of cash in, it's a very early cash in, and oh! the dash over it! Beat the invade here quite yet though, and Gemini is able to get it and get out. Well, Gemini's gonna spot the Vault Breakering Vi. Doesn't actually make it over the wall there, as you can see. No smite available, he's just dead. Wei's going to punch him. That is going to be the answer here. Xiao who knows. Well, Gemini, I think, is gonna get that bad news as he comes in. Oh, the bandage toss begins this one, and immediately Koala's like, nope, I'm out of there. Not gonna be so lucky as Gemini. And actually, that kill going over to Xiao who actually very important because he was suffering a little bit in the lane, falling relatively... Really good prep work, I would say, from RNG. And straight up in the 2v2, they have been leaning very effectively since that happened. As you can see, the flash forward, Gala gets the answering 2v2 kill. Now looking for even more, Aqua Prison goes white, Gemini will turn up, and there's the double. Gala, we're going to make it three here as he dashes, gets another light sling in the flash forward, Gemini, not going to get it, and that's the triple. Assist, formerly known as Assault and Battery. Uh, could certainly work out. A Banish Toss will connect. There's the Curse of the Sad Mummy. Gala not going to be getting out of this one as Atlan holds onto a couple of autos there, playing with Fog of War. Into the fight, knowing they have the advantage on a Mumu level. Oh, that was so cool from Way. The Charm's going to connect there as well. Good Flash doesn't get the return, but Shahu's still looking for more. Spirit Rush is what we're really interested in. RNG a little bit split for now. Yeah, and, and they've got Breathe on top side, so... It's a little zoom. <laughs> uh -huh. A little zoom. He tries to make it subtle, but we see it every time as the Banish Toss is going to connect. There's the Cease and Desist into the backline. Allen gonna have to flash to get out of that, but it does not do enough. That's the second kill to come through, but no, denied immediately. There from Koala, but just staggers it. And now Gemini getting dashed on. Gala is so huge. You mentioned this Gale Force. Yep. He gets the stun, but it's still gonna be another... But this is going to mean that this battle between these two AD carries, who can get the most fed, is uh, right now... Be each participant in that fight, and either of them could have just left the fight at any time. So. You've read those, like, some of those book series, though, right? Where the first two are the really good ones, and then the idea... Oh. He's spotted by Mission, he's just lying in wait. Here we go, Empress Divide's going to Beautiful. pick him up, the flash out, the Spirit Rush! Catching an Ari so hard. And now, Gala, yeah, catching Arlen. Sorry, Atlan, not going to be quite uh, as difficult for Gala. Is he just... Yeah, he's on a rampage. This guy is an absolute monster. You cannot step up to this Lucian. Oh, my goodness. Gala with the Q. Able to pop him once again. Rapid fire, cannon done, tower so down. That dragon stacking isn't a soul point situation right now. Yeah. Um, but still, man, you're looking at this Lucian, and I'm wondering what the answer is going to be because RNG are to keep the hope alive. In mission right now, trying to get some money back for the team, should be able to finish up on this tower. Should be a nice little chunk here. So we're going to need the Aatrox to get out here. Is okay. There's the flash out of the way. The very dangerous. Uh, culling is Koala. He will be taken down one. first. Koala grabs that. Yeah, that's one. Can we find oh, Wow, it? they're going for Dragon. They're just rushing on this pair. And RNG, no, though. Yep, this is a... That's a decision you can make. A Charm is going to connect. Mission will be taken down. Gala wants to get another. Gemini, I mean, it's just one Light Slinger proc, and he is dead. There it goes. Back to RNG. I mean, it's only fair. Gen.G got their warm-up game versus 100 Thieves. RNG getting their warm-up game here versus the Flying Oysters, both preparing. Push down the this top inner turret. CFO, they're gonna go for a fight bot side, going for that cross map play. A lot of CC on Debris. Okay. And Whirling Death, they want to give the cash in over to the Draven, but they're unable to do so. Still gets the assist, there is at least that. Not gonna be able to grab the uh, rest of the money. As Gala is dashing forward, mission. Gonna soak the entire He's just a little too early, and Wei gets in there, steals away the kill. Gemini wants to get more, and they will get the cash in onto the Draven. I have a feeling it's a little bit too late, but they still get it. Uh, yeah, that's actually two kills back like that. That's an Infinity Edge completed, actually, for Atlan. That's a big deal. Another Bandage Toss flying forward. That's a bit close to Gala, but still Koala looking for even more. He will die, and Atlan's just going to get two-tapped by Gala. It does so much damage.
Twitch. The flat. Whoa, okay. Gemini looking for a little bit more. The Draven just evaporates at the hands of Xiao, who is doing so much work. The charm connects one more time, and they can't get to Gala. They managed to stun him, but you will not be able to take this Lucian down, and he'll kill your inhibitor. And he may even take more. Oh, they're definitely going to take more. RNG are good for two in here. Lock down those bounties. Claim that extra gold. It is currently a 10,000 gold lead. That is going to make things a little bit difficult here for CFO to fight back with, but they have an inner turret, uh, inhibitor turret, sorry, within the area. In goes Koala, finds himself a couple of stuns, but it's not as much value as he'd otherwise want. It is going to be way going down as Whirling Death flies in. Small fries. Mm -hmm. Um, Kobe, I've got, I've got a... Something to talk. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, rest. Gonna get taken down to half health. Gala still dashing. Yeah, it is actually a real, a real weapon. weapon. It's my immersion really and, gets affected. And he's not doing any better than with the lamppost. Exactly. As now mission getting taken down very low by the uh, the culling that really is feeling like it can just wipe them out if they stay in it for too long. Still bearing down on Nexus turrets. All of CFO are here. Rest testing. There it is. The curse of the sad mummy Ming. Gonna throw down the tidal wave. Here's the answer from RNG. Way dashing forward, possibly a little too far, and they've taken Absolutely. a lot. You gotta look for as many angles as you have. There is, you know, a mountain soul, which makes things quite difficult. You can't get rid of that. Onto CFO's base. Way. Vault breakering forward. You can see Breathe just ushering the minions in. And CFO gonna go for the fight early. Koala lands the bandage toss. Not going to commit too much more. Does have his ult just available now. Doesn't land the second bandage toss as Breathe. Has that bottom wave under control. The other four are going to move up. Gala with the culling. Koala almost just taken down immediately. Everfrost not going to find him. He flashes. He gets to the fountain. And now Shahu looking for him. He doesn't quite get there. Does get the turret. And the Draven is just left alone. It's a double kill for Breathe now. As Gala picks up one. There's one for Ming as well. And RNG will destroy CFO. Claim this nexus and ask genji whether they can bring them here no real true tanks outside of the maokai but he's still going to consider the trundle oh this is so fun for rng bottom lane tremendous kill pressure you slam a gangplank ultimate on top of a blitz tristan does get some vision down he has a smite advantage just needs to get it down to 450. peanut helps him a little oh I can see it, but still, he may not be out of the woods just yet. Wait. As Wave. Oh no, it's a big mistake for RNG, but first blood goes. Got first blood. Do you know what happened? Gala only died one time that game, and here is the hook onto the hands. It is a very dangerous time. He does get the bailout, though, and he is able to keep himself alive. Wave once again, this time having a flash for his life. Oh my goodness, Lance, you are playing with stage. They're not going to let RNG walk to that first seed. They're going to make them fight for it. Doran on top side, those going oh, down. Yeah, that ain't it. Breeze going to be able to pick up the solo kill. Peanut, not stopping here on the bottom side, is now way. Does twist in advance, tries to avoid the damage, but Rula says no. I'm going to pick that this one. first dragon. And Ming on the rotation. Gonna try and lock something down right now, though. Just hovering on the outside in Fog of War. Well, Ming's gonna get another hook, but Peanut is here. Ruler made himself tasty, but he might just be taking down another bailout. Comes in, but this time he's not able to get there because. <laughs> Breathe definitely giving a lot of pause here. Corrupting Potion with the ultimate ticking there. Almost enough to get it, but not quite. It does allow Dragon number two pickup for Gen G, and now they're chasing Ming. Yeah, we're only gonna walk past the turret here. I think Ming is gonna have to flash, and he does so. 800 gold for the whole team. They get it there. Oh, and the hook is gonna connect. Lands is gonna be silenced, and they're not gonna be able to bail him out this time. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic, but it's a bit late. Peanut flashes forward, picks up that kill in end and now Ruler to try and get that damage through. The flash from Chao, he wants to find more. It's red white guns though for this Aphelios. He is very scary. The hook barely grazes Ruler. Now, Genji, can they fight for this one? As Peanut has dived into the Herald pit. Chao who's here and uh, yeah, it's going to be very difficult for Peanut to survive this one. Five point strike comes in. He puts down the pillar though and the rest of his team have now arised. Cannon Barrage comes through but the protection is there. Peanut will live. Can they win the rest of the fight though? It's all oh, the hostile takeover is fantastic. Gala, he rocket jumps but can he live? It looks like the answer is no as it's a double kill for Chovy. Running towards Lehens 
open arms. He gets the highest damage though is Xiaohu. He's teleported through as well. Fresh fire for both mid laners. This could be big. Ming coming on over as well. Okay, Chobi dives in, finds something, oh, but it's just going to be a back big. away. The reset comes in as well. All right, will this just be a flip? Way is looking to come on forward, but Rula says absolutely not. Chobi gets into the hostile takeover. Is massive. There's soul point for Gen G, but Xiaohu is trying to win the fight. Rula done initially there as well as Chobi did find that angle to come in. Shirley. Going to be taking down this outer turret in the this. mid lane. It was uh, Pyoshik that really demonstrated the vision prowess that you can pick up with the uh, with the Maokai. And it's something that Wei is will now move on over. They pulled the dragon into the brush. Can they get the soul is the question. That's a big barrel to start this one off. Chovy now has the cannon barrage. Doran looking for that backline. Can they steal it? They can! Wei stops the soul! But can they win the fight? They've taken down the crocodile, but can they find more? The shot was massive in the Moonlight Vigil. It's its turn to do some damage. It's not quite that much, but the Gale Force forward will push out damage to this Baron. Way looking to make his way in. The pillar is going to deny. Not going to be out of taxi too close here with Lahens. They secure the Baron, but can they get more? Chovy, a massive stolen ultimate, but now the real one comes through. Can RNG win the fight and deny these Barons? They do manage to take down the Renekton, and now Gen G on the run. The Everfrost, fantastic to deny the chase, and the pillar is just so good. The ult connects, but the flash out immediately afterwards. And that is the ulti from Breathe as well, and now Gen G feeling like they have an opportunity. That was the biggest deterrent here for Ruler. Watch Ruler, watch Ruler. He has double summoners available. Gale Force is up as well, fully loaded. This is four versus five, and they are just chasing them down. They have the Ruler. Moonlight Vigil, can he get rid of Shao? Yes, he can. Genji want to take an inhibitor to our ruler as a raid boss. He certainly is. Fully stacked bloodthirster shield. He hits another oh, one. The go. Pillar. Just massive there. They take the inhibitor turret and the rest of RNG looking to now collapse. It's four versus four, but ruler has full health and a bloodthirster. They take the inhibitor and Doran is now respawned. Are they just continuing no to push? What is this? 5v4, 10, 15 seconds left on Shahu. One minion wave to work with, Mink. Oh, they managed to stun him up. Wei's, Mink's just gonna be taken down. Way up towards the top side though. He does have the nature's grasp. And Lance just explodes. Breathe, trades it, let it for him. He's done it. Gen G just gonna take down the Nexus turrets. And we are going to a tiebreaker. Wei's gonna go down. Shahu, can you do the impossible? The answer's no, it's a triple kill. But Shobi, 6-0 on one in the Nexus falls. Whoa! One away for his top laner. Galio will be locked! This is what we were talking about. He always has it in his back pocket. I had an inkling. I had an inkling. And the Galio does come out. The shout Being in position. This could be first blood as Peanut's going to come up, see whether he can get it first. Remember, no flashes available. Breathe is going to try and go for the all in because he knows that he's dead. First blood goes to Peanut. The most? Okay. <laughs> well, the hens. He's just spotting this out. Uh, he's on sentry duty as the Lulu. Stage of the game. You mentioned that opening, that window to get back in, and we haven't seen it this time as now. Ball Breaker comes forward. Doran is so incredibly low, has to flash. The hook shot doesn't get the stun, and the cease and desist is there, and Breathe will be taken down. RNG answering back with these globals. And you said. The payment on a dragon's got to be more than just a kill. This one wasn't even a first blood kill, so RNG getting the Inferno as well, but Shao is pretty far into lane. Big he rush, is. Ghost. Yeah, that's a lot of movement speed, but there is a decent amount of CC here as Peanut was trying to pick the flash, but Shao doesn't do it. He's still going to Question is Peanut in the river. They have the vision that they were looking for, and here we go. Glacial Prison not going to imprison the Vi right now. It's Moonlight Vigil Ruler just taking matters into his own hands. In goes Peanut all the way towards that backline. The Everfrost value is just massive, and here's the Galio finally using that ultimate, but I don't know whether it's exactly what he wants. Doran going to win the fight with Wei, and Shadow doesn't make it over with the Blast Cone. Still Fantastic news here for Gen G fans, but this Rift Herald will be used to take down this outer turret in mid lane. Mid lane control, very, very good for RNG. Tower instead, they don't want to risk it here, but it does mean we won't get early soul. Yeah, and also, I think RNG 
intelligently realizing that they didn't have the item timing. Scala actually needed to go for a reset that was going um, to be late and picks up his rapid fire cannon now, but didn't have that available if they wanted to fight for that dragon. So I think it's really smart to just go for what you can get, which is this outer turret on the top side of the map. Identifying that they just weren't able to get in position. Yeah, definitely wise. All right, Ingo's ruler just Gale forcing after Gala, and there's the Moonlight Visual to finish it off. Peanut having to flash Bolt Breaker. Gets him out of the Aqua Prison, and now a fight happening off to the side. Breathe now, struggling against the true damage here that Doran has available, and Chovy is going to collapse. That's a dead Sejuani. And now Lahan's just looking to keep them here. The Glitter Lance comes forward. There it is from Doran, diving on it. He has the Wild Growth to get the triple knockup, and he's been taken the turret for 16 years. Just eradicate RNG. JG supremacy here on the day. Absolutely blasting RNG. They're going to run through that mid turret as well. Oh, here they go. Yep, Ming's going to get discovered here as Doran a little bit far ahead of his team, but my goodness, the damage onto Xiao, who has to back away under that turret. They're not done yet, though, as Tidal Wave is going to interrupt the Vault Breaker, but now Xiao, who's going to be left by himself. Chains are going to land, and that's Trovi picking up yet another kill. The shields are massive as well at the same time here as Gen G. Xiaohu, upon revival, will have one for RNG, but they don't have the precious seconds. Yep, the Hextech entrance possible here as Doran can dive on in any time. He's now just playing bodyguard. Decent amount of CCs. He does have to get out of there. The permafrost oh, is going to be available. Oh. Wait, diving on in. He is going to get taken down, though, and no more smite is going to be in that pit. They dash on over, but it's just not enough. And there is a heroic entrance. This time from Chovy, it's repeated as Xiaohu tries to show him who's boss, but it's not enough. And the gold lead is just too big. The item lead, too big. A double kill for Ruler. And Doran will be out of nail the stun. And they'll get the ace and the barrels. Enough for the Galio ultimate. Genji again. These Baron turns for them. They stop DPS. They kill the jungler. They get the Baron. They get the dragon. They get everything. Yeah, and it's now an 11,000 gold lead or thereabouts for Gen G. That dragon stacking that had stopped just a little while before is going to be evened out here as Gen G pick up this. Showing you would expect here, Gen G just demolishing it all across the map. Peanut, early gank towards top side. Getting Doran ahead on this, Camille. Now they're coming to end it. Well, they just dive on in. So much hard engage, and that is the Lucian dead. Now Peanut trying to tank this one up. Has to get out of there, and he'll survive. Oh my goodness, breathe now. The tank in the back like Xiaohu just trying to tidy it up, but Doran is just gigantic. And the Galio will be taken down. That is Chovy with another one, as this Silas has decimated RNG. It's another ace, and Genji will be the first seed coming out of Group D. Huge stuff from Genji. The LCK champs on top again. What a performance today final draw show. I am really happy to have had the show here the last couple of weeks. The crowd has been awesome, and so is my co-host for this. Aww. The person who will actually be doing the draw, David Freak. That's true. Can't wait to draw some NA teams into the quarterfinals. Mm, sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's uh, not going to be the case. It's okay. We're all, we're all fine. We're still here. But uh, it's been awesome here, hasn't it? And we, of course, yeah. will still be here for the quarterfinals. Yeah, it's going to be great. You guys have been amazing so far, by the way. Incredible. Thank you all so much. And we're going to do it again next weekend. It's going to be great. Yes. Thank you. But we need our matchup. So before we get into the draw, first the rules. The first place team qualifying from each group will be placed against the second place team from a different group. Now, crucial is that in order to prevent same group matchups from occurring until the finals, Teams qualifying from the same group must begin on opposite sides of the bracket. So it may be that you hear that it is an invalid draw. That means we will just have a team jump to the next possible option. I think that's pretty clear. Uh, the pool one should be pretty easy to do. Uh, so so be in order. It's be go great. ahead, pool one. All right, here we go. We're spinning them around. Ooh. All right. It's a really big deal who's in the top left of the bracket. It means so much. Get ready to cheer. All right, here we go. You ready? Are you ready? It's JDG, let's go. JDG. You, go. you can keep drawing. JDG, of course, first seed from yep. the LPL, have been very impressive and going to be a formidable opponent for whoever draws them in the first right. final. So I don't know if this is the same side or opposite side of the bracket, but 
our second. Next up. Winning. Interesting, interesting. Team one, same one. side. Same, same side, side, of side, by the, the way. Bracket. So maybe a JDG T1 semi. That was good, I'm graceful. All right. Next up. Opposite side, this is nearly irrelevant. All right, all right, here we go. You're doing great. I right, just guess who it is. You're wrong, it's Gen G. Here we go. Gen G going to the other side of the bracket. And all then right. uh, if everything is going correctly, of course, all right. we should get the Pop other. quiz, who's the fourth team? <laughs> it's, you're right, it's the RX. <laughs> awesome. Thank go. you so much. So now we at least have a, a little bit of an inclination as to what we may see for a semifinal. Yeah. But just as a reminder, in order to prevent teams from the same group meeting until the finals, uh, teams qualifying from the same group must be on opposite sides of the bracket. We're going to switch to Rue because you, of course, need pool two. And this is where it gets yeah. super interesting. You're going to kick us off? So Don't dry yet. We're chilling. Chilling. All right, yeah. I've been told. All right, this is likely JDG's opponent. <laughs> the Chancer for Rogue. That's impossible. They so move to the, the other side, side of the bracket, of the bracket and you know, will face Gen G group. since they cannot end up versus JDG. So an LCK versus LCK matchup. Gen G, Dom Wankia. All right. Next one. Here we go. Try again. Rogue! <laughs> Rogue up versus JDG. Yep. Which, as far as I remember, is uh, teams that met actually in the group stage last year, now going up in a best of five. Go ahead. Okay. Yep. There we go. RNG! Again, T1, valid draw. What a side of the bracket, I have to say. And up for the All last right, bit. All right, pop quiz, everyone. You got it right last time. Who is it going to be? EDG. Valid against DRX. So um, I wrote them down. We're going to get the graphic in just yeah. a second. Uh, first off. It was it was in the stars that Rogue was drawn. Oh, we got eight. some really fun quarterfinals, um, actually. What do you think about kind of the halves that we're seeing here? If you can if you can read it, I got. Oh, that you. is so hard to see from over here. Oh, thank you. That helps a lot. Uh, I mean, T T1 RNG is just like you, you have to have it, and I'm glad we get it. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be sad only one makes it through. JDG, I mean, it'd be hilarious if Rogue Blue shells them. That would, we, be that would be very hilarious. They are I mean, that'd be fun. a blue team so yeah. in their branding. So, yeah. so awesome. What a fantastic bracket we have for the rest of our World Championship. Thank you so much. We're going to kick it back over to World Cooldown. Thank you.